welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi 12T and today I will show you how you can record a screen on this phone. So to get started let's pull down our notifications and in here you will find a screen recording toggle. If not on the first page of the toggles you can swipe to the, uh, to the left and you will find well, a couple more pages. So let's see if I can find it here. There we go, it's the first icon actually. So anyway, once you see this uh, little screen recording toggle, you can hold it and the first time around. This will take you to the settings, which I do recommend checking out at least the first time around, so you can get a, a feel of how it's set by default. Now, uh, probably one of the things that I would recommend changing would be the frame rate, which is set to 24 frames. Now, contrary to what uh, media or whatever uh, consoles want to make you believe, 24 is not a cinematic experience, it's just dog shit. So let's change it to 60. Now you could go a little bit higher to 90, but truth be told, uh, at that point you're kind of overdoing it, at least for such a little thing here. Now let me explain. 90, uh, 90 frames would look nice. It's gonna be smoother obviously, but number one, most of the games won't probably let you run them uh, at 90 Hertz. And number two, if for instance, you're planning to upload this to YouTube, uh, you're gonna be capped at 60 anyway, so you're gonna be wasting storage on your device for something that can be uploaded at a, at a higher frame rate anyway. And the higher the frame rate is, the more storage it takes. So, there we go. Anyway, so I'm gonna stick with 60. This is what I would consider like the sweet spot. And apart from that, we have a couple additional settings like the resolution, video quality, orientation, and so on. I'm gonna touch upon a couple more. Uh, so video resolution is already set to the highest one, so don't need to change this, it's pretty good at, at the default. Video quality, 16 megabits. Uh, if it's too low, you can change it to 24. I think anything above 24 might be just an overkill. Uh, the way you can find out if it's not enough or enough is when you start recording your, whatever you're recording, for instance, gameplays, and you start like moving the camera left and right. Uh, when the image is in motion, you might see like these uh, weird squares on the recording that take not pixels, but like these weird blurry squares. Those would be indication that the bitrate is too low for the current settings. So you could then change it to 24. But like I said, I think anything about 24 would be just an overkill and setting it up higher will consume more of your storage per minute of recording. So there we go, that's basically all I would recommend changing here. And uh, lastly, touching upon the orientation, it's set to auto, that's default for virtually every device. And this might depend on what you're planning to record. Uh, you might want to change it to something else, depending if you're recording gameplay or stuff like that. I'll show why you might want to keep that like just in the back of your head when starting recording. Uh, because on auto or portrait, it will make some weird stuff happening. So. I'm gonna just close this. Now let's find the toggle once more. And this time around we can just tap on it and select record. So you can see that it's recording right now. And like I said, I'm gonna open up a game. So I'm gonna open up something that is obviously in landscape mode. So there we go, Minecraft is a good example of this. As you can see, it switches to landscape. But because I started recording the, uh, the video in portrait. There we go. Uh, because I started recording in portrait, uh, it will create this weirdness on the recording. So let me just now play it back so you can see what I mean. I'm also gonna close this. So as you can see, it's in a photos, newest thing here. You can also navigate into albums to find our videos. Uh, the screen recording will be located here as well. Anyway, let's just play it. And once I open up a game, it continues to keep it in this portrait mode. So you can see it does flip it. And this is uh, outside of the orientation right now of the device. So if I would, oh, let's just move it back. So if I flip it into landscape mode, you can see it looks even worse. So it keeps black bars on top and bottom to keep the aspect ratio of the phone that I started recording. And so the portrait one, and then obviously it flips back when it's in correct one. So when you're starting to record gameplays, uh, you might want to just first open up a game and then start recording or maybe hard cap it to be in, for instance, uh, landscape mode instead of the portrait or auto. 
So there we go. But anyway, and this is how you can record your screen on this phone and also where you can find out recording. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.